Ren just had to respond. He had to respond. Ren dropped dumb king cum. <laughs> the king dot of this. Look, uh, I've been paying attention to this whole this whole beef. I'm gonna get into that in a second. But I've been paying attention to this whole thing. I did not react to Nox response i did not react to king dot as original diss for the most part you don't normally this shit is like for clout right <laughs> so i usually tend to stay away from it just like yeah it's it's super entertaining and yeah i could get a lot of clicks and stuff but like it's basically promoting the divisiveness so i try to stay away from it however i honestly think that a little bit of this is a little bit of a fabrication and that's not for me that's not me saying like oh they're being super fake about this it's like i think a lot of this is like there was beef they worked it out on the sidelines and they're like, well, why don't we make this fun? Why don't we make this entertaining? Let's create like this kind of beef online with each other about it. So I think that's kind of what's going on here, but I have no idea. It could be real, but that's just my interpretation of it. But uh, we're going to listen to this and we're going to break down this whole thing. I see him <laughs> sitting here with flowers and shit. Looks like he's in a warehouse, but um, all right, let's get into it. This is Ren, dumb King Kong, King Dada Dis. I'm excited. Let's see. Let's see if Ren got the flavor. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Is that his funeral? We gathered here today at the grave of Dotter. Here, I bought you some Viagra. You went too soft on me, brother. I must reject <laughs> tradition and speak ill of the dead. After Knox decapitated you, I'll bury the head. Uh. He talked about the Viagra, saying he went soft on him. Basically, he's saying, like, your, 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 your diss to me was weak. It was weak. It was soft. I feel like this is going to be real hard. And he brought up that Knox basically murdered him with his, with his response. True. True. You went too soft on me, brother. I must reject tradition and speak ill of the dead. After Knox decapitated you, I'll bury the head. Uh. King, don't come. You dumb king, calm down. What's a king without a crown? Just a peasant or a clown? Jealous, little bitch. And for anyone in doubt, he's a jealous little bitch. Lashing out to get the clout. King Dot are not a king. I know a crown when it rusts. I eat you up, then shit you out. I call that a royal flush. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, dude. He's talking about, like, the king, right? Because he's King Dada. He's using that, bringing that into his rhymes basically it's the saying a king without a cr crown is just a peasant right we can all say we're kings but without that crown we're really not we're just peasants but also he said lashing out to get the clout that's what i was saying earlier right yeah he's doing all this hate and going to everybody's comments talking shit he's trying to get notice he's trying to get the clout man R ren's going hard on this one for sure a king i know a crown when it rusts i eat you up then shit you out i call that a royal flush <laughs> Doing the, the, the card rhymes, right? Talking eats, he's gonna eat him up, shit him out, but then the royal flush, it's a card rhyme, but also, cause he's a king, kings have to do with the royal flush if you know cards at all. Going by the laws of physics, when you die, you'll combust, because you've got your own center of gravity, fat fuck. <laughs> I've seen you play the- Oh my god, Ren. Bro, I didn't think he was gonna go this hard. Like, Ren's normally like, the type to take like the high road and shit. That's another reason why I feel like this is a little bit fabricated, but oh, let me see what he says. The race card a couple of times saying people only fuck with me because I am white. And then he go. Nobody give a fuck what you're talking about or dumbass complexity you champion. Pac is always is and always will be God tier compared to Ren, who isn't even kind of good. I don't know what the y'all be listening to, but y'all got to be trolling or just really into having a white savior in black culture. All right. Millions of people who look a certain way. Y'all keep forgetting that hip hop and rap is black music, regardless of who loves or do it and does it. So the truth is that he isn't someone and word listening to the core of hip hop doesn't acknowledge him. And it's because he's trash. I rap about my life and my situation so that can never get played out. There's been a rapper like Lil Uzi can drop a number one album and Ren couldn't culture and subjective or not. Ren is absolutely garbage. I mean, that's definitely. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll put it this way. That's definitely a perspective that a lot of people have with any white rapper and i've seen it said about eminem i've seen it said about a lot of white rappers that have kind of come up is that you know it's cultural appropriation or they're they're trying to take the culture away i just think that's just another way for us to be divisive right like just 
Why can't it be, and Ren's good at this, why can't it be that they're actually celebrating the culture, that they're actually maybe bringing that culture to another audience who may not have even known about that culture, right? Why does it always have to be like, oh, they're just trying to make money off of being part of this culture that they're really not supposed to be a part of, which is already problematic in and of itself that not supposed to be a part of. But I'm digressing here. What else does he say? You've got your own center of gravity, fat fuck. <laughs> I've seen you play the race card a couple of times, saying people only fuck with me because I am white. And then you go and backtrack and you say I'm all right. You're feeling mixed in your emotions, like a horny ex-wife. <laughs> Hey, no lie, my guy. Aside from what I said as an artist and as an MC, I respect you a lot, my guy. Let's have fun. I mean, <laughs> that's definitely like, I don't know, man. I, I think this dude is like rage commenting and then realizes what he like. He sees everybody get on him about it and sees all the love that Ren gets. And he's like, maybe I'm being a little too hard. I should back up. Either stick to what you're saying or don't say it, bro. That's how it works. And then you go and backtrack and you say, I'm all right. You're feeling mixed in your emotions, like a horny ex-wife. The reason people don't fuck with you is because you were shy. Oh, you a big dog. So he said the reason... So he talked about horny ex-wife, and then he brought that around. by saying the reason ain't nobody fuck with you, right? Damn, bro. Ren's pen game is hard, bro. Right. I'm just... You're feeling mixed in your emotions, like a horny ex-wife. The reason people don't fuck with you... It's cause you were shy. Oh, you a big dog? Well, I'm a sick puppy. I slap your daft, you little punk. That's how you get lucky. Cause if you lose, you're still winning, it's clear. More views on your disc than your whole career. So come. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's basically saying like, no matter what happens, like he's gonna gain clout out of this. Whether Ren responds or not, he's still gonna get clout on this. So he's winning either way. That's what Ren is saying. He's like, you're getting it clout out of this either way. You're doing this for clout and then you're, it's working. You're winning in the end. Poppy, I slap your daft, you little punk. That's how you get lucky. Because if you lose, you're still winning. Max. It's clear. More views on your disc than your whole career. So come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually sorry about this one, daughter. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> so come on, fatty. Keep up. You're losing the race. Your YouTube views lower than your calorie intake. Stop watching. <laughs> YouTube views lower than your calorie intake. Bruh, his YouTube views are pretty fucking low, to be honest. Like, even though he's spreading hate, like, he's not that bad of a rapper, to be honest with you. I don't know why his views are so low, but that's hard, bro. That's hard. He's saying he's, he's, saying he's a fat fuck. He's so fat. He has less views than, he, than the amount of calories he eats. Bruh. Watching what I'm doing and start watching your weight. I kick down your front door screaming, put down the cake. <laughs> Little steak on my plate, you're starting beef, but it's butchered. Because you're butchering the culture. You ain't brewing kombucha. Oh, How could you bars. Bars. What was that? Down your front door screaming, put down the cake. Little steak on my plate, you're starting beef, but it's butchered. Little steak on my plate, you're starting beef, but it's butchered. Because you're butchering the culture. You ain't brewing kombucha. Because you're butchering the culture, you ain't brewing kombucha. Holy shit. Bro, I brought the food, food rhymes too. Hey, I ain't fat, but I'm hungry now. We got the singer. We got the songwriter. Right? We, we, we got the guitar player. We got the piano player. We got the rapper. We got the body. Now we got the battle rapping. Bruh. Save some women for the rest of us. Save some talent for the rest of us, Red. Holy shit. Stick on my plate, you're starting beef, but it's butchered. Because you're butchering the culture. You ain't brewing kombucha. How could you have Ooh. kids, man? You're hardly a looker. I wonder how much it costs to buy a surrogate hooker. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh, God. Shit. Bro. How do you have kids? You're barely a looker. I wonder how much it costs to get a surrogate hooker. That's like seven put downs in like two lines. Saying he's ugly ain't no way anybody's going to love him, which means he had to have probably bought somebody to spend time with him. But that person also would have had to give him kids. So a surrogate, we bought surrogate hooker. 
Oh my god! Even even the 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 battle rapping rhymes are fucking deep and convoluted, bro. I mean, ain't no way King Dawg is coming back from this. I'm sorry, okay. I'm only joking. It's only hip hop. Time to take my dick out of your mouth and pull my zip up. I'm sure Michelle Show will be obliged to clean this shit up. Then bend over backwards while you're looping from the tip up. Michelle, the filter's weird and your channel is dead. It's like I'm watching Pokemon, but ugly with dreads. This hey, ain't Pokemon. Uh, real talk, I honestly do think that Michelle Show's YouTube is a bit of an act for clicks. I do think that a lot of the stuff he pretends to hate, he doesn't actually hate. And I think it's it's one thing to do that and not be authentic just for the click. It's another thing to like be playing a character. And I honestly really do think that that's what Michelle Show is doing. He's playing a character. That's why he has that filter. That's why he acts the way he does. Um, I do know that he was talking a lot of shit on, on you know, Knox's comment section, Ren's comment section. I know he, he, he reacted to Hi Ren and was talking shit within 30 seconds, saying it was trash. Didn't even listen to the whole thing. I know he was in Cliff Beat's comment section talking trash. Uh, Anthony Ray talking trash. All the homies. They're not my homies, but I'm saying they're homies together. Talking trash. But then after after uh, Knox dropped his, his re rebuttal, <laughs> he kind of backtracked a little bit. And was like, yeah, man, I was wrong. I was wrong. That's why I think, like, when shit starts getting serious, he backs away. That's why I'm like, he's playing a character here, and now it's getting too serious. He needs to, like, calm down with the character. That's my opinion on it, honestly. Uh, but I'm glad that Ren brought him up, too, because he deserves that shit. Dick out of your mouth and pull my zip up. I'm sure Michelle Show will be obliged to clean this shit up. Then bend over backwards while you're looping from the tip up. Michelle, the filter's weird and your channel is dead. It's like I'm watching Pokemon, but ugly with dreads. This ain't a battle, it's a fucking massacre. You're on my planet Earth. I am David Attenborough. Blood suck is Dracula <laughs> with parasite, vernacular, collateral. I run up like I'm Battlestar Galactica. Uh, I didn't shit. even. What were those rhymes? Massacre. You're on my planet Earth. I am David Attenborough. Blood sucking Dracula with parasites. Blood sucking Dracula. I vernacular collateral. I run the black and battle star Galactica. Uh. <laughs> I didn't even make a beat for this shit. You're not worth the fucking time, Dot. Are you last on the list? I wrote this in. You're last on the list. There's other people talking shit that haven't even made a diss track that he's more worried about. He's more worried about other shit. You ain't even worth it. 10 minutes with a flick of the wrist i speak about five syllables you cease to exist so real maybe think twice he ain't got to say much for people to forget who you you're are. not worth the fucking time dot are you last on the list i wrote this in 10 minutes with a flick of the wrist i speak about five syllables you cease to exist so real maybe think twice my friend about stepping to the mark in the world of ren because you were just a rodent and it's mice and men crushing skulls like i'm len oh yeah, he said, I think he's going to say crushing skulls like I'm Lenny. Talking about uh, mice and men when Lenny accidentally accidentally killed the, the mouse, right? He's going to so say he's going to crush so him. Real. Wasn't even trying to, he's just, he's too Maybe good. think twice, my friend, about stepping to the mark in the world of Ren. Because you were just a rodent and it's mice and men. Crushing skulls like I'm Lenny, tail of Jenny again. Instead of Jenny, it's a daughter on the tip of the blade. Oh shit, he brought up tail of Jenny and Screech saying instead of Jenny... Instead of Jenny, it's gonna be you at the end of the pen. Tires screech while I drive by. I'm vi Tires screech it's like screech from tails from the tails also. Instead of Jenny, it's a daughter on the tip of the blade. Tires screech while I drive by. I'm Violet Deranged. You're just and Violet Deranged. She brought all three tails into this shit. Bars. And men crushing skulls like I'm Lenny, tail of Jenny again. Instead of Jenny, it's a daughter on the tip of the blade. Tire screech while I drive by, I'm Violet the range. You're just part of a machine against you, I will rage. And I'm killing in the name Ooh, of a kid. Rage against the machine bar. Jenny, it's a daughter on the tip of the blade. Tire screech while I drive by, I'm Violet the range. You're just part of a machine against you, I will rage. And I'm killing in the name of a king that I slayed. Again, Rage Against Machine, killing in the name of... <laughs> Bro, I could listen to this for like an hour. The machine against you, I will rage. And I'm killing in the name of a king that I slayed. Bully, I've seen you dissing Dwayne and then Crip. Miss a kill shot on Knox because you're bitter as shit. I'm guessing that's Crip the Rapper. Bully, I've seen you dissing Dwayne and then Crip. Miss a kill shot on Knox because you're bitter as shit. 
they didn't make the big mistake. You put me on the list. I'm a fucking psychopath, dog. I don't take the piss. <laughs> Irrelevant rapper, wasting my time. People only heard of you because of this rhyme. Oh, you're a murderer. That's so cool, my guy. Got your time in the spotlight, so enjoy the shine. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Again, going back to like, he's got his, he's doing all this for clout, doing all this to get in the spotlight. Well, he got it and enjoy it because it ain't going to last very long. Wait. I genuinely mean it when I say you should shine. I just played you at your game, so welcome to mine. I want all of my fans to show Dot at the time, because he's actually sick at rapping. Go and like and subscribe. There's a new count of I, I kind of like this, like, this turnaround on, on everything now. Like, it's been, he's been playing his game, right? Like, the hatred, the visceral, like, distaste for somebody. But now he's saying, come into my, come the way I do things. I'm all about love. I'm all about unity. And he's saying, like, I honestly want you to shine. Like, no matter the beef we have, I think you're decent. I think you're good at what you do. Hey, man. So welcome to mine. I want all of my fans to show Dot at a time. Because he's actually sick at rapping. Go and like and subscribe. There's a new kind of culture in this world of division where we bicker over politics and race and religion. There is war, there is peace. That's a human decision. Either you could be my brother or another collision. And <sighs> Bro is spitting. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Culture in this world of division where we bicker. What did he say Go there? and like and subscribe. There's a new kind of culture in this world of division. There's a new counterculture in this world where of division. Where we bicker over politics and race and religion. Yep. Everybody's arguing over politics, race, religion. There is war, there is peace. That's a human decision. I that was it. There's war and there's peace. That's just human decision. What dictates whether we're at peace or whether we're at war is just somebody's decision. Somebody makes that decision to, to you know, have us go to war. Either you could be my brother or another collision. And the media, they love it when we hate each other. Because the money lines their pockets if you're not my brother. Man, facts. He's saying we can either fall into what they want, the media wants us to do the government wants us to do we can fall in and be divisive and be against each other or you can be my brother we can work together we can fight all that peace that's a human decision either you could be my brother or another collision and the media they love it when we hate each other because the money lines their pockets if you're not my brother and this black versus white that's divide and conquer ignorance it is formed in the womb of monsters yeah this whole black white divisive thing like, I understand systemic racism is a thing and that that's something we should be aware of. But we really do all just got to work together to fight it. We can't, in the midst of trying to fight it, also resort to it to fight it. And I think that's happening a lot. But it's, it's always about being divisive instead of trying to work together. That's divide and conquer. Ignorance it is formed in the womb of monsters. If there's war in the east, industries are getting paid. If there's war in the streets, there's a mother at a grave. If I pander to my ego, then I'm just another slave. A casualty of vanity, hate just breeds hate, so daughter. Bro, if there's war in the east, what did he say? Womb of monsters. If there's war in the east, industries are getting paid. If there's war in the east and the streets are getting paid, if there's war in the streets. If there's war in the streets, there's a mother at a grave. There's a mother at a grave. At a grave. Yeah, bro. Facts. If he's saying if there's war in the East, the economy prospers, unfortunately, because of what we put, what the countries put their money into. If there's war in the streets, ain't nobody care. Ain't nobody care. So there's just a mother that lost somebody. If I pander to my ego, then I'm just another slave. A casualty of vanity. Hate just breeds hate. So daughter. If he lets his ego take better of him, it's going to be about how he looks. You know, uh, being greedy. It's all about vanity, he says. It's all about how he views himself, how he wants people to view him instead of what's most important in life, which is, you know, music, which is whatever drives you. I think I've got to leave it at that because I'm not a battle rapper, but I do like to rap. Now a million new eyes will be on where you're at. I hope you roll with it, my friend. Put yourself on the map. Daughter, daughter is sick. You can even hear like the end recording sounds, the camera.
That was sick, man. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I do like the Gonzo type of video that he did for that. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta let that sink in and then I'll come back and, and I'll talk about it. Whether this is manufactured or not, I think it's very interesting how Ren did the whole battle rap thing, kind of stooped down to Dada's level but then did his own thing. This is not really my thing. Like I can do it for funsies and for nice click, clickbait and stuff. Funsies, but I, my thing is like community. My thing is, is being real. My thing is to unite people. And even though you're talking all the smack about me, even though it's all negativity and all hate coming from you, um, I still see that you got some talent and like you should definitely be, not be noticed for that talent no matter what you're talking about. I feel like that's like the mentality that needs to be kind of more rampant. Whether it's like in politics where I know families that have literally broken apart because they have different political views. Like you can't talk it out. Just talk it out. Just because somebody has a different perspective than you or you might disagree with them or you might have arguments doesn't mean that you can't work that out and talk. Obviously, there's, you know, exceptions to every rule, including that one. but. I really do think that people are just like, oh, that's a stupid take, so I don't like you anymore. There's way more to it than that, but um, I really think that was a kind of a cool twist at the end where, uh, you know, it's, he's battle rapping, he's battle rapping, but also I respect you for, who, for what you're doing. It's really, really interesting. I mentioned that like battle rapping is another thing he's got in his talent bag. Obviously, the thing about battle rapping, though, for you, most people, like, obviously, I'm not super keen on, on battle rapping, but I know it's a mixture of, like, pre-written stuff and then, like, in-the-moment reaction to what the person in front of you is saying, right? Or what they look like, what have you, but I think there's, like, a lot of one-liners that battle rappers have that they'll use, and then they also kind of have to, on the fly, almost freestyle some of it, too. So there's a mixture of written stuff. So this was all written. And I'm sure Nox's was too, and I'm sure Dada's was too, but it's interesting, like, Ren's pan game is amazing. We've known that it's, it's amazing for a long time, just going through all his hip-hop shit, but it's pretty incredible the all, how, how all his rhymes have themes, and they go in and out of different themes, and they also make each other, like, each theme of what this verse or this section of the rap molds into the other one or moves into the other one. Uh, kind of like that, like the, the horny ex-wife thing over to nobody, nobody Fs with you, right? All that stuff is really interesting. But I think the takeaway from this, honestly, is just Ren's too humble. Ren's too, too much of a good dude to even do a full, full song of like hating on somebody. Wow. That was fun. That was really fun. And I, I really do think that a lot of this is fabricated after the fact. I think they went through a, a beef. They figured it out. And now they're like airing it out for everybody in a fabricated way to kind of make it fun but really really cool that was crazy that was crazy hey don't fuck with ren guys don't fuck with ren like Knox stuck up for the culture stuck, stood up for the reactors ren sticking up for himself but he's also sticking up for every single person that's that's getting hate right amazing amazing that was sick i enjoyed that all right make sure you show ren some love i know he passed a million but we need to get him up 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 like and subscribe to his channel that's the main thing about that we want to do on this channel support the, the original creators also if you'd like to like and subscribe here i'd love to have you uh, really appreciate the support love y'all please re do remember that good vibes are contagious